talked about setting the depth on the sequelizer. It's one of the top issues anglers report having with these descending devices, and it's extremely important um, because you need to set the depth properly to get those fish back down the water column far enough to recompress and swim off on their own. So the old sequelizer had a sticker on it, a label that showed the depth settings and how to set it. The new one does not. Besides that, they are exactly the same, but I'll show you on the new one. Um, each sequelizer has three depth settings. They also have a shallow, standard, and deep water version. Um, so I'm gonna go over this on the standard, which releases at 50, 100, or 150 feet. So the key is this back piece acts as a button, but you have to align the split ring right here with the screw head in order to push that in. So that's the only way you can move this button. And the default setting with this button all the way out is always the shallowest. So right now it's set at 50 feet. Um, if you wanna move it to 100 feet or the middle depth setting, you simply push in until this plastic ring disappears and turn right to lock it into place. So that's 100 feet and push all the way in and turn 90 degrees to lock into the deepest depth setting, which is 150 feet on this device. If you're unsure when you're out in the water, a little trick, um, you can actually feel the pressure change. So if you close it, open it at 50 feet versus closing it and open it all the way in at 150 feet, you can actually feel it takes more force to open those jaws.